Okay, we're starting uh, a very exciting section for me. I've never, I've never really taught. I started in Germany. It just, it just happened by accident. I started teaching the Taiji version of what's called uh, Qi activation and manifestation. That's what it's basically translated as being. And, um, but because we were doing the, uh, mainly the Bagua linear form in Germany, I then decided to start teaching that as well this more advanced way of doing. There are two ways to do the, the, the Bagua linear form. There's the Tai Chi-ish way, or what we call the Qi Gong way, and it's more like the stone hands way of doing Tai Chi. When it's and so on. And there are basically 64 sections. That was two sections. Two sections and there are 64 sections in that whole form. That's one way to do it. And the other way is... so on. What happens for the whole, if you can get through the slow version and that, your fitness is about up there. I normally fall down after doing it. <laughs> it is an absolutely amazing form, this. It does things to your body and your mind that shouldn't happen because you're just doing a bunch of slow movements. Doing it slowly you're working on your own health, working on balancing yin and yang, balancing from left to right, bringing energy into your body from the ground, which is central equilibrium, doing it at its far jing pace, you actually build muscle, all the correct muscles for fighting. It's like as if you've gone to the gym for a few hours. Simply doing this form at that far jing pace. But it must be absolutely correct far jing. It must be so small, it's almost imperceptible. This first move here is so small, see? <laughs> That's how quick, quickly it happens. What I've done there is... what I've done, but it happens so. You've got to do the whole form doing it that way, and you finish up going, whoa, bloody huge that is. <laughs> so there's two ways of doing it that way. That's the more physical way, of course, the Fa Jing, but it works internally on your body to cause all the correct chemicals and hormones to circulate and be activated in your body to build you up. That's what it does for you. It's like taking, uh, taking a few shots of insulin every day. <laughs> it does the same thing for you. But it can kill you, whereas this can't. Doing it slowly, you're balancing your own body out. And you're also learning 
which is, this is a really special part. You're learning how to use what you know, this form in particular, for healing other people. I delved into this in the German camp with the Taiji way of doing things, but now I'm doing it with this, as I said. There are five ways to heal using energy. You can put energy into someone, you can drag it out, depending on what, what's wrong with that person. You can balance from yin to yang, if they're too yin, or you can balance yang to yin, if they're too yang. And there's a thing called central equilibrium, which is grounding, gaining energy from the ground through the stomach meridian, which is what in Tai Chi, wave hands like clouds does anyway. That's the qi gong for wave hands like clouds. That's what it does. It grounds you. It gives you central equilibrium. So they're the three things that we can do. That's what, you can't do anything else with energy, as, as far as healing someone else. The medical qigong side of things is concerned. The only five things you can do. And this form is so beautiful, so perfect, invented by a series of genius people, that you've got all those moves built into the form. You've got an activation hand, which can either be either hand, and a manifestation hand, which is the other hand. So for instance, if you're left hand, you'll notice, when I start this, what the left hand's doing. See how it's raising up past my dantian. Not touching it, but it's just raising it past it. And now this hand is doing something, you see? So this hand is causing the activation of the chi. This hand is manifesting that activation. It's doing something to the patient or to the person you're trying to use, use it on. If this hand goes down, and this hand, for a male, it's a reverse for females. If you're treating a male person, if this hand goes down, and this hand goes down, you're putting energy in. If this hand comes up, and this hand comes down, you're taking energy out. If this hand goes from your right to your left, you're balancing the patient using their own energy, not yours. In this case, you're causing their own their own body and their mind to do something to themselves, you're causing their energy to balance in a male, yang to yin. If this hand goes this way before the manifestation, you're balancing from yin to yang in a male person. For females, it's exact opposite. So for a female, if you bring this hand up and this one up, you're taking energy into the body. If this hand goes down and this hand comes up, you're taking energy out of the body. And then for a female, it's the reverse of this. If I take my own from right to left, you're actually balancing her yin to yang and vice versa. The central equilibrium comes when you're doing two palms together. So you might be doing a move like that in the Bagua form. And all these you work on someone, I'm not going to go in, it'll take me forever, it'll take me 25 volumes if, I, if I'm going to teach each healing application. I'm thinking of teaching the form this way. You have to know about this in the beginning, but I'm teaching, teaching the form both ways, the Qigong way and the explosive Fa Jing way, each posture one after the other, so that you know the two different ways of doing this form and where to put the hands, where to, which hand's going up, which hand's going down, etc. So you'll know that this hand's activating up, this hand's coming down. So that'll be taking energy out of a male, for instance. So that, that's, so I'll be teaching those things. To teach the applications like this one here, the very first move, is, as we did at the camp with the Taiji area, is bringing childhood trauma that's been in your body, internal scars in someone's body, out, which must come out in order for you to grow, of course. And we all of us have internal scars from our childhood, you know. You would have had to have lived in, in, in 